Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am April Sunny, and in today's video, we are doing an update on my alopecia bald spot. You know, she appeared about a year ago. This is the result of using medicated shampoo prescribed by my doctor. I was told to use it once a week and it seemed to make the problem worse. So I discontinued using it after one month of usage and I went back to my regular wash day routine of every two weeks using my normal products. You guys know that I've been using the rosemary oil. Entire nape started to it just started breaking off so bad like the actual strands were like breaking off so I noticed that that started happening the more I used the rosemary oil and what I realized about my hair was my hair does not like olive oil like it does not like olive oil yeah I will not be using any type of olive oil on my hair ever again <laughs> I'm, we live in this world where we just want instant gratification and I am not exempt to that. So I went ahead and tried clove water and this is how I made it. Starting out with almost two cups of fresh water. I did get the water from my faucet if you were wondering. It's not like spring water or anything. And the cloves I had in my cabinet, I mean, I have this in my cabinet year round, so why not use it? So I added it to my water and honestly, you guys, I added way too many cloves to this water. I didn't need this much, but I did let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes and I let it sit so it can cool a bit. And then I strain the water from the cloves. If you choose to leave it for a little bit longer, I'm sure you can. And just like that, I have enough in the spray bottle to get me through at least 15 days. And with the rest of it, I couldn't bear throwing it away. So I just put it in a container and put it in the fridge. For this particular clove challenge, I discontinued using the rosemary. So this entire month of using clove water, I did not use the rosemary oil at all. I know this sounds crazy, but this is day three of using the clove water. I've only used it three days in a row and I have that much growth already. So I'm, I'm excited to see what it's going to look like by the end of the month using this every day. Is it just me or does it seem like I've kind of hit a plateau? I don't know. So I'm going to freshen up my clove water and start again. And hopefully um, it fills in a bit more. The hair that's come in is a very loose, fine, silky texture. So I'm sure as that gets longer, it'll more than likely change, but by it being so fine, 
um, it still makes that area look very much see-through. But I'm just so grateful that there's hair there. July 14th. And that marks one month of using clove water consistently and Even though I have in these boho box braids, I left that area out so I can continue to do what I need to do. I am gonna use it today to complete the challenge. Of course, spraying the area, you're gonna get it on your hair. So I just go with it. Kind of give it a little massage. And because it's such a small area, I'm just gonna spray it. Oh. And put it just on the strands. And I did that because I don't want it on, I don't want this on my scalp. I just want it on the strands. And then I'm gonna take the smallest amount of Jamaican black castor oil and put it right over the strands to lock in that moisture. And I have high porosity here, so this gets in, the, the product gets in my strands pretty quickly. My hair will absorb it very, very fast. But it's still filled in so nicely from where I started. And so what I've been doing is since I've had these braids in, for the last couple of days, I've been going through and just spraying my scalp with the rest of this. Going through and spraying my scalp, all through my scalp with this as well. And I mean, I've, I've seen a little bit of movement here. Like, look at that. That was so tight the other day. I've seen a change. So I'm pretty happy with clove water. The only thing I don't like is smelling like a Thanksgiving dessert. Walk in the streets in the summertime. <laughs> but outside of that, I am here to tell you clove water works. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a skeptic, but I'm like, it's not a chemical I'm putting on my scalp. It's not a new product I'm trying. It is natural and it's not gonna hurt me. If it irritates my scalp, I can stop. I'm not sure if it's for you, but it definitely worked for me. As you can see, I am gonna to continue to use the rest of this in that area until it's all gone. Once it's all gone, I'll probably just continue using it for a little bit. I do think I need a break because I like the smell, but it's definitely a holiday smell. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy. I'm so happy, you guys, that it finally filled in and my help from the inside out is so much better. I'm in such a better place these days. I thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful to you. And until the next time, be love.